Hello, and welcome to the first of my attempts to record a lecture of some sort online in a video for you. This isn't really a lecture or a PowerPoint. That'll come later. This is mainly just a brief overview of how we're going to work with the challenge of doing an online class in the middle of the semester. Um, so if you can't tell, I'm actually sitting here at home recording this, and I apologize in advance. If there's noises in the background, my four-year-old and wife are here. Uh, as we're calling it, it is an enforced staycation, not a quarantine. Hopefully everyone else is in a good place. But let's kind of get going here. Um, so what we're going to do going forward is I've made a couple changes to D2L. Maybe you've noticed it. So if you can see on the screen behind me, I've actually got a class page open right here. I'm going to go to a different one. And let's just pick um, right here. Now, when you come to the page... The first thing I've done is in the content section right here, I've made some new modules. And the very first one is remote learning changes. So click on that. Okay. Now, in here, there are two things, updated schedule and weekly discussion check-in. So going forward, let's take a look at the revised schedule. And all this is, is this is basically the last so many weeks from the syllabus right here. I've gone through and made sure that the dates lined up so that they don't clash with spring break. Uh, I've taken off an assignment or two that involved uh, group work and made the due dates. So it looks right down here. At the very top, as it mentions right here, um, we'll talk about weekly schedule and discussion in a moment, but you're still responsible, just like you were before, for reading the chapters and doing your quizzes and terms or any other assignments that are assigned for that week. Uh, the difference here is you don't have to do them in a class but they are still due by a certain date and a certain time. So for example, on March 23rd, when we come back, we're actually on suspension until then, you will see that for this class, they need to read chapter eight, the geography and uneven development. So by March 23rd, at this class I believe starts at 2 p.m., they will have read this and submitted their chapter eight term in a question by the start of that class, which would have been 2 p.m. on that date. On the 25th, they have exams, so forth, so on. So whatever your class start, start date time was, 2 p.m., 11 p.m., 9 a.m., it stays the same. Okay. Just like before, all of your work was submitted on D2L. Uh, terms, quizzes, chapters, all of that was done on D2L anyway. Uh, and if it wasn't, it's being moved to D2L. So that really doesn't change much. The biggest change is going to be the uh, quizzes and or lectures. So let's go back. And to that note, just so that we're all on the same page, I have also in here revised schedule, posted the copy of the syllabus, which is just basically the last part change. But let's go back to the other part of remote learning changes, and that is the weekly discussion check-in. And this is just a discussion topic, discussion forum. And I'm going to post one every week. So here's for this week with what's going on, what's due. This week's pretty simple. Classes are suspended. There are no classes right now. So nothing is due. Now, if you have any questions, what you can do, you can either email me, or if it's a question that maybe you think everyone else might have or you just don't really want to go through the email, you can make a new thread. I did one right here, campus closed. So let's click on that one. And I typed campus closed. Can I come in and use the computer labs? Good question. And as far as I've been told, yes, the labs are open. Or conversely, you go to a Chicago Public Library to use their computers or Wi-Fi. Now, if you have a different question or you want to reply to this, you would hit reply. And then you would be able to type another reply to this or if you have a different question, you would just click start on a new thread. So you can all see how bad I type. I keep on hitting that. And then when you're ready to go, post. And now, you'll look, there's a new one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reply to that thread.
Yes. Yes, I did. And then when I'm done, it's getting a little not so much itchy. All right. So that just gives an example of how that works. So that way, if you have a question, everyone sees it right here. Now, next week, let's look at that. So classes start back officially next week. So March 23rd to the 27th, and I posted for this class this week is due. Chapter 8 terms and a question are due at 2 p.m. The recorded lecture, I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, talking about their midterm exam. So here's the midterm exam is on D2L. It began at 7, due by almost 4 p.m. The exam instructions, where it is. And there you go. So upcoming Chapter 9 quiz, recorded lecture. All right there. Now you can ask me a question with email or a new thread. On a side note, um, for now, email is still the best way to get a hold of me. I am trying to set up a virtual office hour where I will actually be here by my laptop uh, during the scheduled office hours. And you can basically just uh, click on a link and we can do a face-to-face -face with this uh, webcam or email. Details on that will follow. Now, the last thing I want to get to is the lectures. Obviously, my PowerPoints have always been available to you on Blackboard or D2L. So you go down there and there's PowerPoints. But the lecture, like I've said, is kind of my way to kind of maybe explain these a little bit better. So to that note, there's a new folder, Online Lectures. And in here, there's nothing yet, but there will be, uh, for each chapter, another lecture. So here's a quick example. For chapter, let's say this is chapter 10. Okay. So in here, you'll find a link to a YouTube video to chapter 10. And it'll just basically be this, me talking over the PowerPoint. So here's chapter 10. I'll go through it just like I do in class, but I'm also talking as well. So you can hear me. Uh, you can see my lovely face and hear my wonderful dad jokes. And this will also help you do your terms and study for your quizzes. So... These are going to be videos that are going to be posted on YouTube. For some of the videos, especially for the PowerPoints, there's a 10-minute limit. So they might be part one, part two, part three, but they'll all be hosted on YouTube. So anywhere you can watch a YouTube video, you'll be able to see this. Once we start doing this, it'll all make much more sense. And with that, I'm going to say uh, thank you.